Okay, so today we have a TRC 485 great radio. Uh, there's a myth going around that these radios are locked up and can't be unlocked for frequencies. Well, today you're going to find out that they can. I've got one here on the bench. I'm just repairing, uh, doing a restore and repair. It had a couple bad potentiometers and put in some LEDs for the display. I'll show you that after. It looks really good. But uh, yeah, we're going to unlock the clarifier and we're going to unlock this thing to have about 400 channels. And I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so first thing you want to do for the channel mod is right here. See that trace that I scratched? Sorry, I'm not very steady here. Right here. You want to cut this trace. Right here. And that is the noise blanker switch. Okay. That's step number one. Now, I'm going to co cover that with some proper coating so it doesn't start to corrode. And I would suggest you do too. So let me do that quick before I forget. Okay, this is what I use, MG Chemicals uh, conformal coating. Um, I just use like a little dab on a Q-tip and just put that on there. You can see it looks a lot cleaner now. Focus, come on. But it's clear. You can get this stuff in green or other colors uh, if that's what you like. But now it's protected. It's not going to corrode away because this thing's most likely going to sit in the vehicle. So that's that now the next step is on the other side of that same switch you want to put a jumper in where this yellow one is here So this is the noise blanker switch here. One, two, three, four poles. You want to go from here and jump down to the mode switch below it. Um, ignore that green heat shrink stuff. Those are uh, resistors for the LEDs that I used in the board. There's some dried up flux on there from to the past. Uh, I'm going to alcohol those out too before I close this thing up. So that jumper there, step two. Now the hardest step of all. Is the main CPU here. You are going to lift pins 31, 32, and 33. So this pin here is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This one, 31. You pull up, you can see it there. 32. 33, hold them up, leave them separated. I'm going to put some of this uh, acrylic on here too, just to make sure those never touch anything. And then pin 34, 
you want to jump it to the main board here to where 33 and 32 were. It's just a clump of solder right there connecting those three together. 31 here, this trait, there was a trace here, it's uh, broken underneath. Uh, that was an accident, it's my fault, but it uh, didn't need to be jumped. It can be left disconnected, so. Um, I had a little piece of it break off and luckily I got it out. Um, but, once again, I'm going to coat it in this right now so none of those pins ever touch each other or anything gets in there and then we'll clean up all this uh, crusty looking old flux because it just bothers me and uh, let me cover that up and then I'll show you how to do the clarifier unlock okay so after unlocking all of those frequencies this is your VFO adjustment so I mean clearly you're not going to be able to use 400 frequencies on this thing you're gonna have to tune the VFO and center it to where you actually want to transmit so you're gonna have to go a little high if you want to go above CV bands or a little low if you want to dip down there a bit but that's up to you whatever floats your boat so now the clarifier mod to unlock the clarifier step one you are going to cut a diode D21 and of course I don't like cutting them so there it is there D21 I just lifted this leg up unsoldered it push it up and I'll let it flap there in the breeze like that um, step two, you want to remove a surface mount resistor, which is R181. This is the clarifier potentiometer here, by the way. It's so around the back side of the faceplate board. Right there is R181. It's a surface mount like that one. I just unsoldered it and globbed it. Um, if you want to keep the possibility of reversal on here, you could easily just glob solder over top of the, the resistor and leave it in there. Um, I attempted to do that and failed. <laughs> it fell out, but uh, I'm not going to bother putting it back in. No. Step three of this mod is to remove the five volt feed to the clarifier, which is this one here. So, what I did is I followed this trace and I just cut the trace right there and I put my goop on there to protect it so that's looking at the front of the radio there's the clarifier right there we have cut the 5 volt rail off of it and now on the other side where our 5 volt rail used to connect which is this leg here we have a 4.7 K resistor which jumps from this leg to this jumper on the, the main board so there was a solid jumper there I just soldered that right to it. Have it kind of sitting there in free air. I'm not worried about it. It's nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, I've got another resistor here. I'm going to 
cover and heat shrink like I did for these ones for the LEDs just because they are a little flimsy but I'll uh, hot snot those a little bit too so things don't flap around but uh, that's it that's how you unlock the clarifier in one of these radios so let's uh, power it up now and show you everything working okay so here we have it turned on uh, this looks amazing with these LEDs in it it's just night and day difference quite happy with how they turned out uh, this radio came with these two knobs snapped off of it so I replaced the potentiometers and uh, now I need some rubber knobs that match so that'll complete the radio but um, I already powered it on so uh, when you power this on after doing the modification it will be blank here you'll be on channel 9 as it uh, when it completely loses power from being unplugged for a long time it'll reset everything and it always defaults to channel 9 and this was non-existent and at that point the radio will not transmit it will not receive it'll scare you <laughs> so don't panic all you have to do is press the noise blanker button and that now it changes your bands so as you can see there E is uh, your default CB channels and here's all your other channels so it's quite quite the range Twenty five megahertz, so down to uh, up to twenty eight. So I guess pick your poison and center your VFO accordingly. Um, but yeah, that's how you do a clarifier unlock and a frequency expansion on this radio. Um, I am now going to do a uh, proper alignment on the radio um, and uh, close this thing up, clean it up a bit and uh, send it on its way.